guys, it's Marianne here from Snap Revise to give you my top five tips for getting a top grade in GCSE Chemistry. My first top tip is to practice writing perfect equations. Our chemical reactions will always conserve mass and we should never lose any atoms between our reactants and our products. This is why a simple equation isn't correct unless it's balanced. Balancing equations is a skill that comes with practice, so try different examples and make sure you understand the difference between the big and the small numbers in chemical equations. Don't change the small subscript numbers when you're balancing, as this will change the identity of the substances. It also helps to get familiar with some common ions and molecules, as this will save you time if translating a word equation into a symbol equation. Finally, add state symbols for the perfect equation. Again, as you learn more chemistry, these will become a lot easier. My second tip is to know your periodic table. You get given the periodic table in your exam and it's your most useful tool when answering questions. Make sure you know the difference between the relative atomic mass of an element and its atomic number and how you can use these to work out the number of protons, neutrons and electrons in an atom of that element and how this would differ in ions and isotopes. Also remember how much information you can get from the group and period that an element is in. If you're given an element you haven't heard of before, have a look at where it is in the periodic table to get an idea of how it's likely to react or what compounds it's likely to form. My third tip is to know the three types of bonding. If you're going to figure out what compounds an element is likely to form, you need to have a good grasp on these. Firstly, know what they are, ionic, covalent and metallic, and then how each type of bond forms and between what types of element. For example, an ionic bond forms between a metal and a non-metal. My fourth tip is that all of chemistry links together and ideally you'll never be just learning facts without understanding why these facts are true. Try and think about how you can make links between different things that you've learned, maybe by making a giant mind map. My fifth and final tip for getting a good grade in GCSE chemistry is don't neglect your maths. Rearranging equations is a key skill so try the triangle method if you normally find this difficult. Some techniques like working out surface area and volumes for cubes or calculating gradients might come up in multiple different topics. So take the time to get it right once and if you'll understand it, you'll be a lot more likely to remember it. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you are looking for an amazing GCSE chemistry resource, join me today in my series of engaging bite-sized video tutorials. Just click the Stat Revised smiley face and together let's make GCSE chemistry a walk in the park.